at the start of 2023, I've done this practice and I want you lot to do this practice as well. And I'm going to be doing it before this new year as well. And this thing allowed me to literally look at my life and that year and take all the positive lessons from that year. And what I want you to do is get a journal out. And I want you to journal about every single month you've had this year. Journal about everything and go in as deep detail you can with this stuff. Because this is going to allow you to understand where you can improve and where you can get better this year. And I've done it last year and it was a personal one last year. Last year I went through a lot of weird shit that I'd never went through beforehand and I had to learn from. And this year is going to be different because I've had more highs this year than I did the year before. And I had downs this year as well, but on a real level, it's going to be different. And what I want you lot to do is actually write out month by month what happened. So let's start off with January, obviously, and then write out what happened in detail of this year. And just understand that you've done a lot this year. A lot of stuff's happened because we can overlook what everything that's happened. And it might have been a really good year for you as a person. Like last year was on them years where I had to learn a lot. I didn't get an insane amount done on a raw level, but this year we got a good amount done and it allowed me to understand myself. And that's what we need from this overall practice in a sense. It's one of these things that when you overlook your year from a non-biased perspective and understand that things happen for a reason, things go wrong. And you can almost dictate different lessons. And when you journal about it and when you write out, you can almost understand it from a different perspective. It allows you to grow and get better. And this is something that I've used to my advantage for this year. And I'm going to use it for the next year coming in because there's a lot of things I need to learn from this past year because I've had a weird year, especially with this channel and all this different stuff and external validation and all the positivity I've got. And all this, I need to understand stuff and I need to almost put it in a perspective where I can truly understand me. I've met some amazing people this, uh, this year. This past year, I've met some amazing people and I've done some amazing things. I've also had loads. I've also had things go wrong. But it's one of these things that we learn from. And it's one of these beautiful things. And I want you lot to just do this before you come into the new year. Literally, write it down. I've done it on the New Year's Eve last year. And that was crazy. That was crazy. As far as it's going off, I was writing it down, writing it down. And it's one of these things that really helped me. And I told a girl about it and she found it really interesting that I'd done it. And we ended up getting in a little thing after that. And she found it very interesting because no one does that shit. No one does that shit. No one journals about their literal year and understands the lessons from it. And that took a level of maturity for me as a person. Before that, the year before that, there's no chance to be doing that. And it's one of these things that we need on overall perspective to better ourselves. We need to journal about our year. What's went wrong? What's went right? All these things, what can we learn from? How can we get better? What did we do wrong here? How did we better this? What did I go through at this time? And almost remind yourself everything that happened and some people may say that's negative, but if we can learn the lessons from that and adapt that into the new year, that's going to be exceptional for us. And if we can get ourselves into a better position from that, that's going to be exceptional. And it also, if you recognize the highs as well, that's going to be exceptional and you're going to understand your growth as a person. And that's what I want from this video. I want you not to understand that this next year and what you're doing is all up to you. On a real perspective, you can make anything happen, really. On a real perspective, of course, like there's some, let's say this YouTube channel, there's a lot of external factors that have to go right for it to go well. But if you stay consistent and keep going and keep going, you're going to get better. Whether it's your body transformation, whether it's you building a YouTube channel, whatever time you may get thousand subs, you may get people who speak to in real life about it and are grateful for the content. Loads of comments, you know, especially if you're genuine. Let's say whatever it is, the business you want to start, you're going to see results. Even if it's a little, you're going to see a bit of results. And it's going to be one of these things that is amazing for you as a person. And I want you lot to do this. Thank you lot for all the love recently. Like, comment and subscribe. Thanks.